Hi all, uh, this is uh, Vijay Patil, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Vivekananda College of Engineering Technology, Puttur. In the previous session, we have discussed about some of the important transducers. Uh, let us see, so some other uh, transducers like uh, electronic transducer. It is uh, basically an uh, electronic tube in which some of the elements are movable. That means, electronic transducers are uh, usually used in uh, electronic components not to convert the mechanical inputs into a suitable electronic uh, outputs and uh, in this some of the parts inside the electronic transducer which are movable and uh, which are uh, having some uh, uh, flexibility in producing the output the plates are mounted on an arm and which extends through a flexible diaphragm in the end of the tube a mechanical movement applied to the external end of the rod which is transferred to the plate within a tube thereby changing the characteristics of the tube that means uh, in applications like a surface roughness indicator or a accelerometer or a pressure or force measurement whatever the input we are going to you apply that means uh, it may be a force it may be a torque or it may be a pressure uh, that is suitably converted into electronic um, signals through some amplifiers or uh, some controllers or some um, uh, signal uh, uh, processing units so these are suitably converted into electronic outputs uh, this is the electronic transducer you can see the input that means uh, one diaphragm is a flexible diaphragm uh, displacement displacement um, it may be some movement it may be some force it may be some torque that is sensed by a diaphragm again that signal is processed with the help of a plates on a movable support that means two plates are the electronic plates with the electromagnetic conduction uh, that is taken by these electromagnetic conduction plates and these are suitably processed and we are going to get the output and uh, let us see what is the intermediate modifying or uh, terminating devices intermediate modifying stage is the second stage in a measurement system and uh, terminating devices terminating devices are in the sense the readout devices whatever the display units we are going to uh, read uh, that is nothing but terminating devices or uh, end stage of the measurement system where we are going to read the measurements let us see the intermediate modifying devices in the most cases the mechanical quantity which is detected will be transduced into a electronic form that means the input like a uh, force pressure uh, it may be some uh, weight but that is taken care by a processing unit and that is processed completely and uh, we are going to get the output in an electronic form like uh, we are going to get uh, digital outputs the output of the first stage has to be modified that means this is nothing but a signal conditioning stage where the signal is amplified suitably all the noises are removed unwanted uh, part of the signal is removed before it is going to fed into the third stage or a terminating stage terminating stage is nothing but indicators recorders are our control elements where you are going to get the output of the measurement the modifications are carried out in the intermediate stage commonly called as signal conditioning stage as i said the signal is modified completely uh, in order to get the output in a closed control system in any electronic uh, automatic electronic uh, system if you take there are some mechanical components uh, there are some electronic components in order to get the correct output there should be a controller what is the role of controller controller will modify the signal uh, before going to give the output so that we are going to get the uh, output correctly over a repeated period of time the controllers usually modify the signal in order to get the output they will remove the errors and if any changes are required they will make the suitable changes and they are going to give the correct output so these output can be read, uh, read by indicators, recorders or control element. Signal conditioning equipments used may be of a mechanical, electronic or uh, electrical. Signal conditioning, uh, conditioning means uh, suitable amplification, removing the errors and unwanted part of the signal or unwanted part of the input quantity to be removed. So that is uh, taken care by a signal conditioning stage. Uh, in a signal conditioning stage there may be mechanical components there may be electrical components there may be electrical components 
Now, mechanical types uh, usually includes linkages, gearing, and cams. Uh, you can see the gear may it may be a simple gear, it may be a compound gear, it may be a epicyclic gear train or a sun planet gear train. Various types of gears that can be used. Uh, cans, uh, cams uh, such as um, uh, knife edge, uh, roller edge, flat edge types of uh, cams are used and uh, various types of linkages are used in uh, various mechanisms and uh, some uh, ratchet pole mechanisms uh, you can see in the watches and all so these various mechanisms they are going to amplify the input quantity whatever the force uh, torque pressure to be measured that is suitably processed by uh, uh, say conditioned by this mechanical transducers uh, and uh, some friction inertia non linearity black lash or uh, electronic deformation uh, these are uh, some uh, limitations that are coming into picture while using the mechanical transducers so in order to remove this uh, drawbacks by using the mechanical transducers so we are going for uh, electrical or electronic systems uh, because these are uh, free from um, frictions non linearity black lash and uh, electronic deformations because uh, only signal is in the form of a binary cores so there are no um, any mechanical components easily we can get uh, outputs without any drawbacks so that's why the electrical or electronic components or systems they are uh, widely used as a transducers and uh, these are also give a large voltage or power amplification required to drive the recording devices some uh, inherent problems uh, such as uh, the mechanical signal transduced into electronic signals are not only amplified but special types uh, signal conditioning may involve filtering integration differentiation remote recording so in order to carry out these uh, uh, various types of process like uh, filtering the noise filtering the unwanted signal integration that means uh, integrating the signal differentiating the signal a remote recording without a, any assistance you have to record the signals so all these are to be taken care in case of a electrical or electronic users and uh, mechanical intermediate devices are uh, elements posed such as some problems related to the dynamic inputs amplification initial loading electro electric uh, deformation so in order to all uh, remove all these problems so suitably we have to use the electronic components so mechanical amplification uh, simply it is given by output displacement divided by input displacement or uh, it is a output velocity by input velocity of the signal and uh, reflected frictional amplification due to the mechanical gain a small frictional force in a mechanism will reflect back as a magnetic field uh, this results the input to the mechanism or a mechanical system is reversed that means whatever the input you are going to give whenever there is a frictional force in the mechanism and that is converted into equivalent mechanical field and that has to be indicated in the radar devices and uh, total frictional drag reflected into output is given by ffr equal to summation of a into ff uh, a is the mechanical gain or amplification ffr is the total reflected frictional force at the input of the system and uh, uh, frictional force at the source is given by ff that means total frictional amplification is given by gain into uh, the frictional force at the source now this equation uh, which will uh, indicate the total reflected frictional force at the input of the system and uh, so we have to remove the backlash amplification of backlash or uh, uh, deformation problems in order to get the correct output backlash results uh, from a temporary non constant in a linkages that means whenever you are going for a mechanical transducers so this backlash come into picture and this is caused by a non constant in a linkages backlash and electrostatic deformation cause a lost motion at the output signal equal to the backlash multiplied by amplification between the source and output the electronic the elastic deformation is brought about by loads and forces and carried by the links uh, usually whenever there are uh, linkages are there uh, in a mechanism uh, whenever you apply force due to the tension or compression forces the components are going to be deformed so due to that one we are not able to get the correct output sometimes so that's why 
the mechanical touch users if you are going to use you have to take care of those problems some temperature problems are also associated with this cause dimensional changes uh, changes in the physical properties both elastic and uh, electric resulting in the deviation referred as a zero shift or a scale error due to some temperature high temperature problems there will be some uh, thermal expansion due to that only we will get the elastic problems and uh, some zero shift or a scale error will be caused due to the electronic variation zero shift uh, this results in the change in no input reading that means uh, whenever an um, input signal is to be processed due to the zero shift we are not uh, able to get the input quantity to be measured correctly and this zero shift mainly depends upon the temperature and also primarily a function of uh, linear dimension changes caused by expansion or contraction with the changing temperatures and uh, methods to minimize the temperature problems how to minimize this one minimization through careful selection of materials and operating temperatures one uh, method we can follow and compensation may be made in a different forms depending upon the basic characteristics of the systems like uh, if a mechanical system is used make use of the composite construction you have to use the composite materials like biometals or uh, composites for electric circuits you have to use the strain gauge strain gauge um, is a mechanical devices which are used to measure the uh, strains in a uh, mechanical component uh, usually the strain gauges are associated with the uh, electronic um, circuits so whatever the strain measured by strain gauges uh, a strain gauge may be it may be a triangle rosette or it may be a delta rosette uh, these are uh, components which are associated with the uh, electronic circuits and uh, the input signal is processed correctly and we are going to get the strain in a micro um, micro strains and another method to minimize the temperature problem is by elimination that means efforts should be made to eliminate the temperature effects altogether uh, this is the best solution uh, high temperature conditions should be avoided in order to avoid the temperature problems and uh, this is a simple current sensitive circuit that means in order to avoid the problems so we are going to use the simple current circuit uh, that means you can see that there is an input circuitry and all the signal processing stages are there there is a resistance type of transducer is there and there is output so using this one you can avoid the temperature changes and all the uh, physical changes in the input conduct to be being measured and uh, these are the some uh, electronic uh, uh, terms you can go through the uh, contents electronic amplifiers uh, what is the main role of the electronic amplifiers uh, these are usually used to provide a voltage gain or a current gain or independence transformation that means whenever a signal to be uh, transformed uh, properly or it has to be amplified properly then we are going to use the amplifiers in most of the transducers electronic uh, or electrical voltage is output but the voltage level available from the transducer is very low hence a voltage amplifier is required to increase the level of a subsequent processing that means we are going to increase the level of that particular signal sometimes the input signal may be used to drive the recorder or some control apparatus in cases of power uh, such a case of uh, amplification is required and uh, power must be increased by using current or power amplifiers and also high output impedance leads to the noise whenever we are going to increase the power there will be high impedance and uh, we have to avoid the impedance in order to get the correct results so that impedance will cause the noise that uh, noise has to be filtered with the help of filters hence it is uh, desirable to include an amplifier which converts high impedance into a low impedance output uh, vacuum tube amplifiers in the figure you can see there is a plate and there is a grid and uh, there is a cathode uh, heat power supply cathode uh, tube is there and the signal output is there input is there and uh, biased voltage and uh, using the vacuum tube amplifiers uh, electrons emitted from a heated cathode are attracted to a positively charged plate thus causing a current to flow into the 
uh, plate circuit as shown in the figure you can see and the flow of electrons is controlled by a grid which is placed between the cathode and a plate and negatively charged related to the cathode and negatively charged voltage grid is called as a biased voltage in the figure the same figure you can see the variation in the charge how it is transmitted and the power is supplied and the voltage transformation that is uh, leading to the greater amplifications and uh, which is able to give the correct output and uh, next coming to the telemetry telemetry is uh, usually measured uh, to measure the devices uh, uh, like uh, like uh, uh, astrological uh, elements if you are going to measure so at the time uh, the telescope or a telemetry is used mm, tele distance or a metry measurements telemetry is a technique of measuring a distance and it may be uh, defined as indicating or recording or integrating of a quantity at a distance by electrical means it is very important part of the intermediate modifying stage telemetry systems require radio, radio links which permits use of a radio readout devices located on the ground they are used in the missile aircraft fighting testing industrial medical transportation application and the general telemetric system is shown in the figure that means there is a primary measuring input stage is there primary detector is there then uh, there is a intermediate stage which uh, consisting of a telemeter transmitter telemeter channel and a telemeter receiver and end devices which is going to indicate the measurement quantity measured quantity uh, it may be uh, defined as an indicator it may be a recorder or it may be a controller and the measurement quantity uh, the same uh, whatever the three stages are there like uh, input quantity intermediate stage or uh, read out uh, stages these stages are uh, uh, already we have discussed in the which is widely used in the general measurement system and uh, what is the advantage of uh, this uh, telemetry transducers uh, for the same capacity weight of the telemetry equipment is less one of the advantage and the equipment is of uh, less weight and uh, capacity is high many channels may be individually or continuously monitored without a direct attenuation of a operator and exceeding safe limits may be immediately recognized and the correct measures can be taken in case of destructive failure the telemeter data gives a complete record up to the final moment and this is important in a missile testing when the test item may not be recoverable and practical recording time is not limited these are some of the advantages disadvantages it is more complex or expensive the required extra processing of a data leads to the greater chance of error a greater chance for the introduction of unwanted signal and uh, it is not quite economical compared to the all other transducers uh, this is a basically telemetry trans transmitting system and you can see there is a transmitter there is an antenna there is an acceleration stage is there in order to accelerate the signals and in order to avoid the temperature problems there is a temperature circuit and there is a flap position in order to reverse the signals to get the correct output and in order to remove the unwanted uh, signals we are going to use the filter uh, filtering systems and there are some uh, subcarrier oscillators in order to oscillate the signals and these are the some important uh, components of the telemetry transmitting system and uh, the last stage of the general measurement system is uh, terminating devices or a readout device and the third stage uh, it is very really used in measurement of any system it depends upon uh, ability to present the measured quantity in a form it can be understood fully by a human operator or any controlling device the primary function of terminating device is to accept analogous driving signal and to provide the output for a intermediate reading or full recording and uh, for a relevant displacement uh, for a example a pointer moving over a scale a light beam or a scale a liquid column these are uh, uh, measuring the displacement in any fluid or any, it may relate to the force it may be related to the torque or it may be related to any elastic deformation it may be related to strain all these are measured using a pointer scale 
and uh, another type of reading the measured quantity is a digital form like odometer in automobile speedometer a rotating drum in a mechanical counter rpm indicators so all these are uh, tachometers all these uh, day measurement systems so which are going to indicate the measured quantity in a digital form and uh, your calculator so all these are a digital form of uh, indicating the measured quantity and yes or no limiting type uh, like uh, example for example uh, red oil pressure lights in uh, automobiles uh, pilot lamps like equipment so these are uh, acting as a yes or no limiting time that means whenever you are going to switch on your uh, uh, vehicle uh, so immediately for a few times uh, the oil indicator uh, light in a display unit that will blink for some time uh, immediately it will switch off so that means it's going to indicate whether the oil is present or not if any harmful condition is there inside the engine condition that will in indicate if it is uh, continuously blinking that means you should, you should check the oil properly before starting the vehicle so like that some sr no limiting type of uh, indicators will be there they are acting as a uh, signal uh, indicates and uh, readouts as i told uh, there, there may be some analog indicator there may be digital indicator analog indicators are uh, usually pointers scale meters and uh, they are going to useful in a static or a steady state dynamic indications and uh, some indicators are classified into simple uh, d arsenal time meter ohms meter or a volt um, ohm milli ammeters or a vacuum tube um, volt meters among these uh, d arsenal type meter is widely employed as a final indicating device d arsenal type meter is a common type used for measuring either current or voltage it consists of a coil assembly mounted on a pivoted shaft whose uh, rotation is constrained by two sp spiral springs you can see the figure d arsenal type of uh, meter the two springs are uh, rolled over uh, which are going to act as a some mechanism in order to move the pointer over the recorded scale and the two rolled springs are there and the electric current to be measured is passed through the coil and the two interacting magnetic fields results in the torque applied to the pivoted assembly and then resulting displacement of a pointer on the scale calibrated in terms of electric current the principal forms the basis of for uh, most of the electric meters stylus or a light beam uh, oscillograph so there will be north and south poles and uh, there is a rolled springs will be there in opposite directions so while there is a magnetic field applied the spring is going to make the movement so which is connected to the shaft and that shaft is uh, attached to the needle or uh, indicator and uh, pointer and these pointers are going to uh, show the reading on a uh, engraved scale and, uh, uh, coming to the cathode ray oscilloscope uh, CRO usually commonly it is called as a CRO CRO is the most versatile readout device to display from mechanical measurements it is used for the measurement and analysis of waveforms and other phenomena in uh, electrical and uh, electronic circuits uh, cathode ray oscilloscope is a voltage sensitive instrument with uh, electronic beam striking the fluorescent screen the extremely low inertia beam of uh, electrons enables it to be used for uh, following the rapidly varying voltages these are the uh, some important cathedral uh, cathedral ray oscilloscope uh, functions and uh, similarly the cro which is a uh, very important uh, parts are there in the cro like uh, electronic gun assembly and uh, electron gun is there which emits the electrons and uh, which are strike out the fluorescent screen uh, not to produce the sufficient energy that will cause the luminous spot on the screens and the electronic gun uh, emits electrons and makes them into a beam and it consists of a heater cathode ray grid focusing and accelerator accelerating anodes electrons are emitted from an um, indirectly heated cathode and that they are passed through a small hole on a control grid the grid controls the electrons emitted from the cathode hence the intensity of the beam and electrons are then accelerated by accelerating anodes and there are some uh, deflection plates are there if you see the CRO and this is the basic uh, uh, figure 
which indicates the CRO cathode ray oscilloscope there is a heater and there is a cathode and uh, after the cathode there are accelerating anodes are there and this together unit is called as the electronic gun where the, this is going to produce the electrons and uh, these uh, electrons produced of a high beam they are deflected with the help of horizontal deflection plates and um, after the end of the vertical deflection plates the high beam rays are uh, hit it to the fluorescent screen where you are going to get the output or electronic waveforms. What is the application of CRO? Uh, to observe the waveform of a voltage, in order to observe the waveform on a CRO, the voltage under a test is applied to the vertical or uh, Y, if you take X and Y, uh, the vertical is taken as Y, and deflection plates and voltage obtained from the sawtooth oscillator is applied to the horizontal that means x deflection plates using this one you are going to get the output to measure voltage and current the deflection of electronic beam is proportional to the voltage on a deflection plates the crt screen is calibrated in terms of voltage that means volt by centimeter the value of current can be obtained by measuring of the voltage drop that will cause the resistance to connect in the circuit and in order to measure the phase relations and frequency like uh, lesses patterns in order to get the lesses patterns we are going to use the crt screens and uh, oscillographs uh, similar to the cro oscillographs are basically writing instruments like the cro which is a display dis uh, device so these are current sensitive devices oscillographs work on a principle of uh, dr signal meter movement and uh, oscillographs are like this and there will be north and south pole field and uh, there will be coil assembly and there will be some uh, trace will be there a uh, paper movement will be there will be paper and tracing unit will be whenever they are going to get the output uh, like uh, if you are going to get the waveforms so the paper unit is going to slide uh, the pointer is going to make the trace on the paper so these are uh, going to work on a uh, uh, the electronic beam concept like uh, as a uh, stylus is deflected by input signal the paper is moved under the known rate thereby recording time of the uh, function of the output is recorded and the frictional drag between the paper and pen stylus require considerably more driving torque and these types may have as many as eight channels of a uh, types of a movement and uh, light beam and uh, mirror types so another type of uh, Readout stage that means uh, light beam or a mirror type of oscillographs where you are going to get the suitable waveforms. Uh, this also acts on the magnetic field concept. There will be a fixed anchor, there will be a mirror in order to get the deflect the electronic uh, charges or electronic beams. There will be the north and south uh, fields and there will be a suitable magnifying lenses or a, and a deflecting lens will be there. So through the light source, uh, the light is incident on a mirror that is deflected through the lenses and that is reflected on the light beam. And there will be a photographic paper where the signal waveforms are basically seen. And uh, what is the difference between the oscilloscope and oscillograph? Uh, oscilloscope basically a display device, oscillograph is basically a writing instrument. And oscilloscope is a voltage sensing device and oscillograph is a current sensitive device. So these are the some of the important display units or readout units. Uh, similar to that one, there is a XY platters, plotters. It is an instrument used to obtain the certain uh, Cartesian graph originated by two DC inputs. One plotted on x-axis and another plotted on y-axis. Uh, this usually works on a principle of uh, input, and there is a usual, usual uh, component uh, uh, present in the, this system, XY plotters. Uh, that is a attenuator which is attenuates the signal that will suitably amplify the signal that is given to the, the balance circuit which is um, having the reference source that means in order to balance there will be a reference source will be given and there will be a chopper and uh, there is an amplifier and a chopper unwanted signal is removed and amplifier is used to amplify the signal and through the pen drive motor mechanism on a uh, suitable display graph paper the pen is going to make the movement in x and y direction so that's how you are going to get the linear curve as a waveform of the suitable output so this is the basic working of the xy plotters
and uh, so this is uh, all we have seen uh, various types of uh, measurement system so why measurement is needed and what is the important of uh, measurement system where they are used and uh, different types of uh, measurement systems transducers and the three stages of measurement system input stage intermediate modifying stage and output stages and in each stages which are the components are used we have studied and uh, this is about the measurement systems and its applications and its importance in the present uh, field